Most people are familiar with uh, Curator's ability to search on anomalies, on events and flows. Uh, so if we click here on the rules, the default group that comes is actually the anomaly, and we can see all the things that we can search. We can search, for example, on a on a flow that lasts more than 60 minutes, as an MP, uh, ICMP flow. Uh, you know, these are events and these are individual events and flows that we can actually uh, easily uh, get an offense to fire on an anomaly based on that. But what Curator has also the capability of doing is uh, of searching for, uh, I mean, uh, looking for variations of anomalies on aggregated data, not just on an event, but a, an aggregation. Let's say a search, I make a search of some particular event, I want to see variations on it. Let me show you a concrete example. If I look here on the on the rules for the word spike, we have one rule put in there. That is this one. It's a custom rule called spike in data outbound. Let's click on it. So warning about editing that one, and we're going to see what it implies. It's a well. So. The, the custom rule is called spike in data outbound when the time series is being aggregated by source network and it's the source byte sum and when in the last minute I had I get a 40% variation up or down uh, over the last two hours then this rule is going to fire. So this is on uh, aggregated uh, data. Let me actually show you an example of uh, we using that particular uh, rule. So let's go to all the offenses and look for a rule where we actually uh, use that. This one. Spike in data outbound. So if we take a look at it, we can actually even display the, the actual rule. And this is this actual this the actual spike in data outbound rule that we just showed you before. Let's go back to the summary. And let's scroll down here and see the last ten events. Let me actually change the width here so we can actually read the anomaly text better. Actually I can make this smaller. So in here we can actually see Let's uh, do, for example, this one, user1. So we're going to actually click on the magnifying glass in here for this particular event. So it's complaining about the date. Oh, OK. So this has to be AM. OK. So we can actually perform a search and now we get this data but we don't we want to see the variation of using one within within the rest so let's actually clear the filter and leave the the actual search on just uh, flow direction local to remote so, and here we are so what we can do now it's actually, well, let me actually go back to the search and edit the search again and make a, uh, a search for the last, uh, let me make this bigger, uh, let me make that 30 minutes and perform the search to make sure I, I capture those uh, those particular events and in here I'm going to modi modify the actual graphics as we done many times before and for for looking at these uh, variations the pipe is not good time series is better and we are searching on source source byte this is data actually going out and in here we can actually see that there is a spike on users one uh, well let's actually make this search a little larger, let's say it's in the last hour. 
and see if we can see the, the, the actual the complete peak and here it is we can actually see it here that around 1030 let me actually put it right here 10 33 p.m. there was a spike actually of several of this user user 2 but uh, user 1 is actually the largest spike of them all does that mean that there's something um, bad on it no it's just abnormal and actually we can continue the investigation and see further what's the nature of this traffic